Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY as usual, but very important in today's video we're going to analyze what is going on right now because Bitcoin is about to break out, so breakout is imminent here and we're going to have to analyze where I think that we might going to break out and what are the targets but before we start with the content my friends just a little update on this uh, prime xpt co-vesting thing so far this number one trader has a performance of more than nine thousand percent gains in within 76 days and this user so this trader here very soon will increase its capacity to have even more followers so very very soon you are able also to follow this trader so make sure that you're joining my discord trading chat because as soon as i see that you can join this number one trader i will update it over on Discord. So you find the Discord link to my channel down below here in the video description and also here you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin if you're also trading at your own because in both ways of course it is very risky to trade but I would definitely suggest you to do both. One thing here, this co-vesting feature where you can put a small amount of money into this trader with the hope of course that you can multiply that amount and at the same time you can also trade at your own with Bybit or Femex using for example my own indicator. All right, my friends, and now let's start with the content because here in the four hour time frame, you can see that Bitcoin is clearly gearing up here for the next big move and probably we're going to see a big move in coming today or tomorrow. The question, of course, is are we going to see a breakout to the upside, which of course is very likely since we are in an uptrend and also this pattern is a very bullish pattern and will take us in case of a breakout to the upside straight towards $17,200. This is also the price level where we had in 2017, a last week after reaching the all time high of 20K and then we started the big dump. So it is very likely that we may be gonna see one last leg to the upside towards $17,200. But it is also possible that maybe you're gonna create a support above 17,000. That of course would increase the chance that we will see $20,000 incoming very soon. But if we're gonna break down here, so if we're gonna break out here to the downside from the support that we're having currently at 15,470, then watch out for a bigger correction potentially to where we started here the support line right here at around $13,000 that would be my target in case of a breakdown so if the price is losing this support I definitely gonna open up a short position over on Bybit so you should be ready right now to trade this pattern here as soon as we're gonna see a breakout I would still wait here to enter we still don't have any kind of breakout and even better if you would wait for the confirmation so if we're gonna break out here to the down Downside. most of the times we come back up here in the lower time frames like the 15 minutes or the one hour test the new resistance and then break to the downside the same thing if we're gonna have a breakout to the upside if we come down here test the new support and then have the big breakout to the upside this would be of course the safest way to trade this breakout but if you want to just go with a market order in then wait here for the price to break here the resistance or the support the only problem that i see currently why we shouldn't break out here to the upside is that we have a bearish divergence in the price and the rsi you can see we have lower highs in the rsi we also got all the time here bearish signals and the price is increasing so that is a bit bearish also in my own indicator you can see that we are very exhausted here but we still didn't get here a sell signal so we still should have room left to the upside i'm waiting here in the four hour time frame to get a confirmed sell signal so those are some bearish signs that i see here in the four hour time frame but of course there are also some bullish ones like we are trading above all the moving averages which of course is very bullish the 20 moving average is acting as a support and also if you have a look into the bollinger band you can see that currently we're trading on the bullish side and also all the indicators are quite flat here especially the macd and ksd so in case that we're gonna have a big pump to the upside here we would have a lot of room left to the upside and if we go over into the dxy you can see that even though we had here a breakout again to the upside currently we're still getting rejected from this 50 moving average 
and it looks like that the DXY is not able to push higher than the 200 moving average here at 93.30. You see also that in my own indicator we are getting very soon a sell signal here if the DXY is not able to push higher and bring all the moving averages again above the 200 moving average. So here I'm expecting also continuation to the downside which is of course in favor for the Bitcoin price. But watch out for the DXY as well because if the DXY is gearing up here to go to higher levels so breaking also here the 200 moving average at 93.30 I'm expecting a possible bigger correction also in the Bitcoin price because even though here we could get a sell signal we have still a lot of room left to the upside you can also see it here on the RSI and now if we go back into the Bitcoin price and open up the daily time frame you can see that currently we have the nine day moving average still acting as a support so as long as we are closing daily candles above 15,330 everything is good to go to the upside and the trend should be still be in favor of the bulls but as soon as we're going to have a close below 15,330 then be prepared to see a possible correction at least towards the 20 daily moving average at 14,000 400 dollar where also our previous resistance is lining up and now should be acting as a new support and in the worst case scenario we're gonna see a full retracement back down here towards 12,500 and potentially even lower towards 11,200 dollar but of course on the way there we most likely gonna stop here at around 13,000 dollar this is also where previously we had a lot of resistance and support so where we're gonna head to next is all gonna be depending where we're gonna see the breakout today or tomorrow in my opinion it is still very likely that we're gonna see continuation to the upside maybe one last blow off top or something like that if we're not able to build up a support above $17,000 because we are still very overbought you can see it also in my own indicator since a very long time we are in this area and a correction could happen at any time and now if we have a look into the dxy here you can see that we are still getting rejected from the 20 and 50 daily moving average which of course is bullish for the bitcoin price so as long as the dxy is getting rejected from these moving averages we're gonna see continuation to the downside and therefore we could see a big pump in the bitcoin price so even though bitcoin is looking still a bit exhausted here we have still a lot of room left to the upside and if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that even if we would dump here towards the 20 weekly moving average which currently is lining up at $11,500 we will still remain on our bullish channel here to the upside and you should consider to buy everything you can down at these levels if the price is retracing right now so everything what we can do right now is just to wait here for this breakout and then take this trade so don't forget if you also want to trade Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage so also with smaller amounts you can do very nice gains then Bybit or Femex is the number one exchange to trade with cryptos. Here is also where you get a lot of bonus and rewards if you fulfill all the requirements so you have to put like a first deposit do like a first trade and so on and you will get a lot of bonus here that you can also use for trading and if you have some tether on the sideline that you still are waiting to buy even more Bitcoin then you can trade also here on Bybit with your tether and currently there is a 30% off discount on your trading fees you just have to put this voucher code in the rewards hub and if you don't want to trade on Bybit Bityard also is a very good exchange to trade with tether here you can trade even derivatives only by using tether and here the more you trade the more bonus you get up to 258 dollars and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit the like button subscribe here to the channel and also make sure to join my other channels over on twitch and discord we have a very great discord community so make sure that you also join my other channels thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye